is kind of strange. Hello. Welcome. I see lots of questions. Can you hear me? I see lots of questions and I'm gonna just not stress about it. Okay, good morning. I'd like to invite you here to talk with me. For a long time I have been thinking about doing these video chats. And getting a bit more personal. personal. Um, yeah, you hear me? I see things, I see questions. Uh, I'm here to answer anything. I like to talk about the video, of course, which is now premiering on YouTube. Um, Janine's here with me. She's going to hand me some questions. Janine Kazang from the band. Hi. <laughs> oh, yes, I can talk, of course. <laughs> you can talk. So, some questions here. <clears throat> um, I'll get straight into it. I could do a long intro, um, but I don't think we've got that much time. So, let's have a look. I thought the questions were supposed to come up here. Me too. I don't know how to see them. Oh, there we go. So... How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm feeling refreshed. I live in Pioneer Town in the desert and that has helped me very much. Um, I eat well, I exercise, I sleep much better than I ever have. I meditate and I create. So I'm very happy at the moment, thank you. Ukraine loves you, we fucking miss you. Miss you too, Ukrainians, you nutters. Um, was Maldeep Hollow wrote for one or few people? Um, well, it is written For everyone that has supported me and that I feel deeply connected with. Um, it was a, an antidote or a, a, a song that was written overcoming a dark, heavy time in my life. I was suffering from depression and anxiety and I was very, very uh, out of touch with reality and my inner peace. And um, this song represents the breaking out of those mental chains and um, uh, becoming more aware of the non-conceptual life that I am. Okay. Does IMX have any desirable music collaboration ideas? Oh, that's too, too long. I love David Sylvian. I've always loved him. He's an idol of mine. I'd like to work with him one day. <clears throat> before we both die. Have you ever met him? Have I ever met him? No, I've never met David Sylvian. I think I would shit my pants. <laughs> um, how are the dogs? The dogs are wonderful. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, that's a long story. I'll get into that at another time. 
Well, now you have to say something. Damn. Okay, <laughs> one of the dogs. One of the dogs yesterday, Lenny, who was a very cute. Maybe I'll get him in a second. Um, uh, he ran into the wilderness, and um, okay. I. Ah, Janine's going to go and get him for me. Let's watch. He doesn't bite you. Um, <clears throat> he ran into the wilderness, and. Um, uh, after a coyote, the coyote uh, trapped him in his mouth. I thought he was dead. I ran after the coyote into a pack of coyotes. Um, I don't know much about coyotes, so... Oh, here he is. And the coyote dropped him, so he survived, and here he is. Is it a linskull? With a little scratch on his head there. I don't know if you can see that. He's very cute. So, um, yeah, we saved, we still have a, a Lenny that is alive. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, do you keep your love life private? Yeah. Um, If you're wondering what that is, it's a it's a, a cup from a famous architect called uh, Rudolf Schindler. Brilliant man. I'm drinking decaf coffee. What time do you usually get up? Um, hmm. Uh, quite early now. I used to be very much um, absorbed by nightlife and um, I was very much creative into the early hours. Don't do that anymore. Um, I still love the night. I still, there's something very uh, free about driving the streets late at night and being immersed in darkness, looking at the stars and stuff like that. Um, but at the moment, I prefer sunlight. Um, what well, also the connection is bad, the, the Wi-Fi connection that just tells oh. us, depends on the weather out here. Oh, sorry about the connection. Um, um, I can talk slower. Um, yeah, it pauses for a few seconds. It pauses for a few seconds, so you probably have a kind of like a, a face like this or something. <laughs> and then... Um, uh, looking for questions, looking for questions. What's the craziest thing you did at school? Um, I, I, I ran away from a girl because she wanted to kiss me. I was very scared. Um, have you been reading lately? Um, yes, I have. Um, I was reading a bit of Freud, even though I don't particularly like Freud. I think it's good to, to know where a lot of psychoanalysis came from and I'm very interested in psychology as well as mixing that with meditation and spirituality. I don't like to use that word, but, but that's the best word that describes that. Um, but uh, with, with Freud, I wanted to just check out a, a book which is called Civilization and Its Discontents. It's interesting, but um, I prefer Carl Jung. Uh, you have got a dark sense of humour. Mm. You got it. Um, what about one of these questions here? Too many questions. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Hmm. 
Okay. Well. Connection is much better now. Okay. I think there's one wrong word in there, which is belief. And I think that um, being connected or experiencing or, or, or sensing that there is another, another level to existence, uh, which is being um, and not conceptualized thinking and doing and uh, being totally identified with with your thoughts and being controlled by your thoughts there is another way to exist and that is non-doing non-knowing um and just being life being at one being the universe um if you want to call that place or that thing or that no thing which is you anyway if you want to call that god then that's okay it's just a word um that's all i can say for now on that one we can get into that in more detail in the next, next in the next uh, video chats that we do Does Big Man tell a story of present society problems? Um, yeah, it does, yes. Um, I think you'll find that, that, that if you look at any era, if you look at any period of um, humanity that, is, that, is, that has always been obsessed with egoic thinking and uh, power structures and and uh, all of those negative, obsessive traits of the human mind, uh, then you're going to find huge issues and problems are always going to be arising. Um, it's just very amplified at the moment. You have a, a very... Uh, almost a caricature of, of, of the worst person you could ever have as a president in the US. Um, and you have social media and technology, which is uh, amplifying the the madness, the insanity of the, of the human mind. Um, and I've always talked about those things in pretty much every song that I write is 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 either a, a an observation of the bizarreness of, of human nature or a personal emotional uh, exploration, psychological exploration. Okay, next. I hope you got some of that. I hope it's not cutting out all the time. Um, Are you alone now? Oh, got some coffee on my... Um, am, I, am I a loner? Mm. Am I a loner? Hmm. Um, in some ways, yes, I, 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 have, I have felt in the past that being uh, kind of immersing myself in solitude was better for me. I always stayed in my bedroom as a child, I never really socialized very much with my family either. Um, sounds kind of sad but it's 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 not it's it 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 really gave me a lot of time to to focus on a different plane of existence and i was always very um uh, i was more at peace <clears throat> experimenting by myself and you know creating by myself learning by myself i hated school even though i was reasonably okay in terms of society's iq standards um but i am now at a point where i 
I'm much more open to being social, sociable, social, whatever it is. And, um, and that's a very beautiful feeling. I want to connect. I mean, I, I've always wanted to connect, connect through my music. Um, and that's probably why I'm doing these, these, uh, video chats now because, um, the music has, is one doorway into the room and this is another doorway into the room what's next um are you sober are you vegan what, what's your am i sober why am do i you look like 25 why do i look like 25 <laughs> mm, yeah well this is just a very good uh i've invented my own uh, uh filter for <laughs> for for aging musicians um, and it's called the Forever 25 app. Um, I don't know, good genes. My mom looks pretty young. Um, uh, small features, which get bigger over time. Um, I don't know, quite good skin. Um, and uh, what was the other one? What was the uh, other question? If you're sober or... Um, do you see me? No, I need more light. <laughs> um, if you're sober or vegan or, you know, no one's interested. But. If I'm sober or vegan, I'm s at the moment I am sober. Um, I've, I've drunk enough wine in my life to kill a few cows, whatever that means. <laughs> um, so um, I'm having a break because, it, because I just want to feel different and i want to feel the sort the clarity of of what i'm experiencing here in the desert um you can see a bit more of the studio Woo. did you show them the ceiling i showed them the ceiling mm -hmm. yeah um so yeah i am i am i am a I am a failing vegan. I'm vegetarian, definitely, but the, the veganism is, I still have a very soft spot, very soft spot for yogurt. Okay. Is there ever going to be a live documentary? Is there ever going to be a live documentary? Ah, yes. And now's the time. And what's going to happen? <laughs> 15 bucks, I think, from uh, the Schindler House. Um, there is going to be a live documentary, and what we are going to do, because it's quite expensive to do that, you need a crew that follows you around on tour. We don't have that kind of money. So, we're going to do a pledge for that and it will be a documentary about me my life the band we'll we'll also do a live dvd in that you'll be able to experience the shows see the shows well not experience the shows see them um and um you will have to pay for it because you'll have to um pledge for it but you'll get it later that kind of thing like we did before and and um i really want to do it because it's time and uh you many people have asked for that in the past and, and it's just time so yeah let's get that rolling and let's get a pledge going and um let's get the the madam on it where is she where's she gone Get the madam on it, um, and she will sort things out. Yes. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, have you found happiness? Have you found happiness? Did I, what? Did I answer that? No. Um, <clears throat> well, what what I have found or 
found, uh, I've given up the search for happiness. And I think this is the, the key and the, um, the secret to life is to surrender and uh, accept what is. Die to the past, relinquish the future, and um, a natural state of peaceful being will arise when you give those things up and you stop searching. Looking for more questions. <laughs> Aren't there any coming in? <laughs> there are, but I just, uh, there are questions coming in, but I'm so shit at, um, at, reading them. at focusing on them. So I'm going to take this one. What, what do you think about fans getting the X tattoo? Um, I love it. I'm I'm all for um, starting a kind of uh, uh, pseudo uh, cult. If you if you want to do that, that's that's really fine by me, and I'm happy to to lead in a in a very sort of sordid, uh, uh, unusual. Um, sinister way from my uh, castle in Pioneer Town. I am uh, affectionately known now in Pioneer Town as the Count. So you can uh, you can call me the Count for now and if you want. Dear Christopher, I hope you will be oh I can't see it. Do I press that? Oh oh it does come up. Look. Show me. Oh cool. Damn. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. I didn't know this. So now everyone can read that, so you don't have to read the question. Um, it's frozen again. Oh, that might be old. I mean, yeah, it's, it's as good as it gets. Okay, so uh, w will you be continuing the Onfall project? It's actually Onfall because, because it's, um, it means uh, what Onfall means. It's a German word for accident um yeah that's it and uh, i will definitely do another unfall unfall album on these machines right here Cats chatting. oh i think we have a special guest where is she i don't know <laughs> it's already gone cat <laughs> katsuki where are you Um, your opinion on fake service dogs. Ooh. I'm, yeah, all for that. <laughs> okay. F fan of IMX since the album The Alternative. Are there plans of making a DVD of the show? Yeah, we, I just answered that. We will, we will, we are attempting to do that now. Uh, but we have to fund it, so I think the light's going down here. Have you ever had this kind of situation in your life when you have many different ways to go, but you can't choose? And what did you do? I don't know what to do, which way, what job, what life I want, and so on. Just sitting, thinking, and eating myself alive. And don't... And doing nothing because I am so frightened and not sure in every damn step I've ever made and need to make in the future. I already don't have any strength to even think about it anymore. Okay. Um, wow, okay, that's, um, that's a big one. Uh, So you're, you're struggling with your ego and you're, you are totally identified with your um, conceptual mind. Um, 
I would say, to begin with, surrender to all of those emotions, those feelings that you're having. Um, you should talk to someone, of course. The doorway into transformation, to awakening is therapy. A psychological approach will, will help you to ease in. Um, and I would say, start therapy as soon as you can. Start deconstructing those negative thought patterns. Start living in the moment and forget about your past. It doesn't exist. Your future doesn't exist yet. It won't ever exist. It will always be now. And um, you might get some kind of relief in knowing that, that what you're feeling right now is your reality. What you're doing right now, how you are right now, is your reality. And you can shape your world um, based on that concept and not on the anxiety of and the frustrations and the excitements and the ups and downs of living in the future and living in the past. I'm going to talk a bit more about this stuff, uh, mental health, uh, mental health awareness. Uh, during the tour, I, I'm, I'm intending to do a kind of tweaked meet, meet and greet where we, we uh, arrange panels at shows and you can join me and we can talk about my life, my experiences, your life, your experiences, and, um, and smooth, smooth it all over because it's totally possible. You're caught in a loop and I understand that because I've been there and it's, it's, um, painful it's it's suffering you, you 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 will feel like you're suffering now but it will pass and you will transcend that and it's quite easy in some ways it seems like you'll never get out of it but we just have to talk in more detail later about that so stay focused surrender to what is and strength will come. Do you plan to visit places that you never been before, like Bosnia and Serbia? Yes, I do, and we will, and we are going to on this tour. I think we're gonna be playing Serbia. We're trying. We're trying to play Serbia. We, uh, we're still trying to find the right venue and the right routing, which is all very complicated. Many people are working on things, so, you know, it's not a, I can't promise, but I, I, I can definitely say we're trying and we will try and you are on our radar. 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 Thank you. Another question from the... Another question yeah. from here. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm crying, thank you. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Question, question, question. Um, the one side pops up. Please share your songwriting process. Okay, so it's it's actually quite traditional in a way, I, it will, it begins with, well, it's, it's a bit of a mixture. I'd say often it begins with driving. I'll be driving and I have a, a kind of IMX baby language that I use, uh, for intonations, lyrical, uh, uh, pointers. Um, so a melody will come, 
maybe some chords, maybe a rhythm. Uh, usually a melody and, and chords will come and this will be the foundation in my head. It grows. The lyrics will come through this baby language that I've described where I'm saying something but I don't know what I want to say yet. Um, I know that it will come out as something. It will manifest as as words later but there's an intonation there that, that I kind of it, it points me to certain words. Um, then I'll get in the studio. I will I will pick up a guitar. I don't have a guitar here. I, I would get a guitar and do that for you, but I'm not going to. There's time. next time I'll I'll pick things up, or a piano. And um, then I, I will will kind of construct it in quite a traditional way. If if it works as if the song works in its basic form, in a tradi traditional form, with a guitar or with a piano, then I feel like I can go further and I can construct the, dress it up with its production and, and take it into more atmospheric places and uh, and just experiment with, with enjoying, enjoying the freedom of sound design and, and uh, production, which is kind of half of, half of the, 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 the process for me is, is the, is the sound is, is the message, uh, the, the, the message that you give through the atmosphere, the sound of the track. I'm always stunned how bands can play guitars and drums and, 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 and do that f their whole career. They just use one sound. I mean, that's quite amazing. I, I just could never understand how you would do that. But um, yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, I can't find any. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. OK, any new songs with Kat Von D in the future? Well, why don't you ask her? I know she's lurking somewhere. <laughs> she's stalking me. Where is she? I am not online. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> Are you stalking me, Kat? <laughs> I hope so. Um, I, I, I am, I'm pushing for it, but uh, she's, she's a bit busy at the moment uh, doing the whole life thing. You know, she's kind of got the whole um, biology thing happening, which is amazing. Bringing new, fresh consciousness into the world, manifesting wondrous things. Uh, have you tried any psychiatric meds? How do they work for you? I have. I've, I've been on and off meds for a few years. And I think that there is a... Uh, yeah, we'll talk in more detail about this at another point. But um, there is... It, they have their place and they are... They can be extremely useful in giving you the space to to work on yourself um because if you're caught in in something as nasty as as depression and and uh anxiety if, if you've dealt with psychiatric problems with psychological problems in in an uncontrollable way then uh, medication is 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 a nice way to to give you breathing space to work on yourself, and um, so I too I but but you ha it won't it doesn't solve everything. It doesn't. It will give you time, um, and it will help you, but the holistic approach required, and you need many. Oh hello, you need many attacks different uh, points of attack to to uh 
to solve the, those those issues. Calm down. I have suffered from bipolar, but I stopped using them. I wanted to access sickness. Uh, I understand. Um, yes. I. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Just too many questions. Um, <laughs> Kevin Key and Mr. Kitty are also in the chat. <laughs> Mr. Kitty, where are you? Katsuki says, when are we going to tattoo you? <laughs> so Kat, Katsuki, who I, I call her Katsuki, because she's Katsuki, basically, right? She is Katsuki. Um, she sa I said, when is she going to tattoo me? Because I, I, I don't... I'm kind of a blank canvas and... Um, Apart from this and these little things, but I just don't know what to do about it. Um, about six months ago, I had a deep desire to, to just cover myself. And um, and now I just don't know what to do. I... Ask your fans. Or... What do you think? You tell me, you lot. Um, and then see, see, what, see if Kat wants to do something about that. Because she promises she's going to do it, but let's see. I think she's just too chicken. Okay. Um, what? Who is your idol? Um, oh, I have m many idols. Uh, don't look at me. God, I'm not looking at you. Can you answer that question for no. me? Who's your idol? Better be me. You. Um, you. Only you. Yes. You look amazing. Oh. Oh, sorry, I'm just thinking about me, 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 of course. Me, 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 me. Um, do you feel paranormal? Um, I feel like an alien sometimes. I feel like I am just here to observe the, uh, the madness. Um, I like your... Nose. No, what was... What was that one? Do you work out? Um, I, it's so boring, working out. Um, I can't even do it sort of in a meditative way. So for me, I have to be productive if I'm doing something. So I have to build something like building a studio or I have to uh lift some rocks and throw some rocks around or dig something um uh or get on stage because that's very productive you you have a, a result you have uh the, the drive is there so but working out in a gym with all the muscle dudes not really me climbing hills climbing hills i go on lots of hikes with dogs uh here's a question coming which one? Any? Ah, if I suddenly met you in the street, would you let me touch your nose? I just find it really nice. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, that's pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, if you want to touch the nose, touch the nose, you know? You want to touch the nose? Yeah, I want to touch the nose. Boom. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know. Thank my mum for that nose. Uh, Everyone's asking about sneaker pimps. A lot of people asking about sneaker pimps. I understand. Um, whew. Maybe uh, you can send messages to Liam. To why don't you, yeah, why don't you just, why don't you all just send some bloody emails to Liam or tweets, or, or tweets, go and tweet his account. I, I'll give you the account, and you motivate him because, Lord knows, I've tried, <laughs> um, and uh, we'll see what's going on. You know, if you can get him going, brilliant. I'll do it. Um, what else is happening here? It's eleven eleven. It's eleven eleven. Oh, that's a good question then. What it's does, 11 11. What does 11 days mean in Maldi Polar lyrics? 
Eleven days in Maldi Polo lyrics. What does that mean?、Uh, those eleven days remain in our toolkit. Well, that's just how long it took you to. Thank you, thank you. Janine's answering the question for me. Don't. Do you want to、so、answer the question? You're taking too much. You want to answer the fucking question? You're like a sloth. <laughs> I'm like a sloth, apparently.、Um, so. Eleven days is how long it took me to get on a boat and、uh, sail over to the United States of America. That's how long it took me.、Um, yeah, and that was a very、uh, bouncy ride. <laughs> it was middle of winter, and it was big waves. Okay, okay. What's your favorite color, really? Okay. Uh, well, I'm looking. I'm looking. I can't find anything. I mean, I, there's loads of stuff. I'm looking for something I want to answer. <laughs> um. Okay. How about a full acoustic album of some previous work? How about a full acoustic album of some previous work?、Um, and then play Pappy and Harriet. <laughs> and then somebody said, "Why don't you play in Pappy and Harriet?" Which is, I need to get this off. I can't do this on. Pappy and Harriet is is a is a venue here in Pioneer Town. And、um, and. It's a small venue, but it has very it's world renowned for some reason. And、um, I do want to do an acoustic album, an acoustic uh, uh, video, maybe like a DVD or something. I think that would be wonderful. Mr. Kitty asks, "What makes you most uncomfortable?" Mr. Kitty asked me. Mr. Kitty, who is is if you don't know who he is, he's a wonderful. Uh, artist, of course, he did a remix for for Maldi Polo, and、uh, you will hear it on. And it's released tomorrow. You can hear Mr. Kitty's version, along with、uh, versions by a South African、uh, electronic music maker called Hazer. It's fantastic,、um, and an Onfall version. Which is me、uh, jerking off, basically,、um, and、uh, the video version, an acoustic version, which is also me jerking off,、um, and、uh, you could get you could get all of that tomorrow if you're lucky. And what makes you most uncomfortable? What makes me the most uncomfortable is.、Um, Hmm. What makes me most uncomfortable? I don't know.、Um, not much. Not much these days. Uh, uh, massage. Uh, uh, what's next? <laughs> I just I can't see you being massaged. <laughs> I don't think anybody can see me being massaged, right?、So. I mean, apart from the the. The correct areas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man!、Um, how much do you care about your appearance? How much do I care about my appearance?、Um, <clears throat> I've learned to care less. Uh, uh, I think it's important to to uh, uh, to use what you've got, and if you like what you, you've got, sort of maintain it like a. An old car. <laughs>、um, so if you you know, just do what you can. Play with it. Play with the form. You know you're 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 here to experience this form. And if if you like it, then maintain it. I never. I grew up not liking it. I grew up having real body issues and 
you know, I, I was I was not very confident, um, which is odd cho choosing this job. But I think cho the choosing of the job, job, this life, the choosing of the of this lifestyle and, and getting on stage and uh, and uh, trying to connect with you uh, is a way of, of looking for acceptance and, and um, building confidence and strength and uh, killing self-doubt. Yeah. They all want you to sing. I'm sing, not going to sing today. I'll sing. Um, I'll sing on the next one. I could do a little, a little thing for you. How about Yay. that? How about that? Yay. Should we wrap it up? Yeah. Yeah. Should we wrap it up? Yeah. This is a good, okay. good moment. Um, well, I'll take one more question. Sing, sing, sing. <laughs> sing, sing, sing. Oh, no singing. Well, I have some more questions gotta, here. Got to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm not cheap. Um, you said already. Uh, oh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Personal, but still, your relationship with ego. Personal, but still, your relationship with ego. Mm. Um, well, the key is to break the brittle shell of ego, isn't it? Isn't it? This this is what we're aiming for as a as you know, humanity really needs to. I don't see your face. You don't see my face. What? Ah, there it is. Sorry. Have I been doing it like this no, the whole time? No, 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 no. Oh. It's me. I'm a retard. Um, to, to, to break the, the shell, the brittle shell of ego and to, um, you know, for humanity to evolve into a more transcendent domain and to, to, to live in consciousness and awareness as opposed to uh, negative uh, psychotic ego loops um, you know we're, 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 the whole world is built on madness as, as associating with 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 thinking all the time and uh, you are much bigger than your thoughts the thoughts are just one element of life as are other beings or the the chair um but we associate we we identify with them completely and and we 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 create madness so death to the ego there we go see you next time see you next time my beautiful beautiful cult followers <laughs>